Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around, we gather around the table of the Lord as one community on this memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas. We beg for the grace that we may truly deepen our faith as Jesus would invite us to do so. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for an evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise, for he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man himself as a good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sands on the seashore. All this died in faith. They did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar, and acknowledged themselves to be strangers and aliens on the earth. For those who speak thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land from which they had come, they would have had an opportunity to return. But now they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when put as the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said. Through Isaac, descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our sins, from the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the bands of our enemies. 
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Please stand. <laughs> God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were, were breaking over the boats so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and, say, and said to one another, who then, is this, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. This is what our first reading would remind us about faith. But we all know the difficulty of hanging on to our faith if we are in the middle of a difficult situation. Kapag wala tayo dun sa gitna ng problema, madali nating masabi dun sa may pinagdadaanan na kapit lang, tiwala lang. Kaya minsan ang sagot din sa atin nung may pinagdadaanan ng taong may problema, hindi naman natin naiintindahan yung sitwasyon nila dahil hindi natin alam o hindi natin nararamdaman yung pinagdadaanan nila. It is easy to say, keep the faith if you are not the ones undergoing the problems and difficulties. But it would be a different story if we are the ones experiencing it. This was also the experience of the disciples in our gospel. That's why they were asking Jesus, do you not care that we are perishing? Kung ilalagay ho natin yung sarili natin dun sa kalagayan ng mga alagad, Siguro, ganun din ho yung gagawin natin kung hindi ho natin kilala si Jesus. We can easily judge the disciples for not having faith because they did not trust Jesus. But if we are the ones in the middle of that storm, we will never know what our action would be. But why is it sometimes we lose our faith in the middle of a difficulty or a problem? simply because we are afraid. 
the disciples were afraid that they will perish. For someone who has a grave sickness, he or she is afraid of the pain that he will undergo. There is also that fear of death. The same goes if someone in the family is very sick. We are afraid to lose that family a member. Or if we are in the middle of a crisis, there is also that fear that we may lose ourselves in the middle of the crisis. We lose our faith because we let fear take hold of us. We lose our faith because we let fear dictate our very person. And fear is a very human instinct. But on the other end, the fear is something that must also push us. That is what hope would give us. Whenever we hope, we always think of a positive outcome. Whenever we hope, we always look at the brighter perspective. Hindi naman, ho, pwede, hindi naman ho natin pwedeng sabihin na umaasa tayo, pero hindi ho natin nakikita yung magandang kalalabasan. Fear and hope are two opposite ends of a pole. Fear steers in us the negative outcome, while hope gives an assurance of a positive perspective. But where does faith come in? Faith is seeing the best perspective even if, we did, even if we did not perceive that outcome that we are hoping for. And this is what Jesus was teaching his disciples in the middle of the storm. The disciples were afraid that they might perish in the storm. They were just hoping that they would come out alive. Kaya siguro ginising na si Jesus para may katulong silang mag-ayos ng layag. They were just hoping that they, will, that they would be able to reach the dry shore. But Jesus gave them something more. He let them see the power that He has over all creation. The disciples were afraid to perish. But they were hopeful that they would be able to, treat, that they would be able to reach dry land. But Jesus challenged their faith. Because they failed to see that the Lord of creation was with them. It is very human for us to be afraid when we are in a difficult situation. But let us also cling on that grace of hope that there, that there, that there is also something beautiful in store for us. And if we do not receive that positive outcome that we are hoping, that we are hoping for, then let faith guide us because God will always give us the best outcome. Please stand. Even the wind and the sea obey the Son of God. With this in mind, we can pray confidently for calm in a, in a turbulent world. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may guide the church, especially in the stormy waters that threaten and engulf it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That leaders of troubled nations may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through the intercession of Mary, the star of the sea, sailors, fishermen, and all those who earn a living from the sea, may be pr preserved from every danger. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The, dis the disabled and those suffering from lingering illness may find inner peace in Christ's healing power. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Heavenly Father, may the trials and troubles of life storm-tossed storm -tossed waters purify us and bring lasting peace to our souls. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church may the, sacri may the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of St. Thomas, be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us in the festival of St. Thomas Aquinas, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we, deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you, that you should enter, should enter under, my roof, under my roof, but only, but only say, the, say word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh,